baby party and I'm doing the washing up and there's a band next door and I should be dancing. Ah, the tidy up's begun, hasn't it Gaynor? Oh yeah, but as soon as you start finish tidying up, what happens? More stuff comes on board. Yep, these bad boys have turned up and they now have to be installed. Mm. It took us, can I not have it all from anything? It took us two hours to get these on, only because we come down the marina and as soon as somebody sees you with some batteries, this guy comes on and says, I'll help you with that. So it was a cup of tea. And then some other guys came on board and they said, I'll help you with that. So we'll help you down the companionway with it. So it's another cup of tea. tea. And it's like, so two hours it took, but we have had two cups of tea. So that's why the biscuits need to be replaced. Well, it's taken us a bit of time to finish off the jobs um, after the yard. Uh, one of the jobs was to um, put a pump out um, fitting uh, for our sewage so that um, we can, we've can we got the option of pumping out for when we're in the med. Um, we um, sorted out, I, I fixed the sail bag, um, so I did lots of work on that. I finished my side panels, so they're all done. And now... It's our last big job, and that's electrics. So, the old battery is now coming out, and we have um, wrapped the terminal ends up in cloths to make sure they don't contact anything. And you made sure that you took the negative off first. I took the negative off first. Because and that's what it said so in the manual. Yeah. So now we've got to lift this one out, and we'll probably have to make adjustments because there's straps and grips and things, but first things first, let's get this one out. This is the nightmare um, that's on um, one of our um, batteries with all the different wires. Um, we've got uh, chargers on here. We've got um, a um, inverter on here. We've got a wire that I haven't even identified. I think this is a trickle charger from the solar panel. We've got all sorts, and it's a just a complete and utter mess. But that mess has been transferred to the new battery. Uh, yeah, we're not changing anything. No. Not this point. Okay, so we've got the old ones out now. They've been on continuous charge for the last three or four days, because that's what happens to them. And they're showing 12.2 volts. That's that one. The other one's the same I did it earlier. Yeah. Um, the new batteries are showing almost 13 volts. And um, the guy, we were talking to a marine engineer guy. Hang on, start that again. Uh, yeah, we were talking to a uh, battery guy and he said that these were from 2005. So I think if it is, that is the right date. I think they've done very well. But they're clearly time for a change and the new batteries are 180 amp hours whereas these were 140 yeah so we've got a bit bigger battery as well so yeah now we've got to do is lift these 14 ton behemoths off and we don't have any friendly guys to help us I'll never mind we I'll, can do it ourselves i'll go see if i can rustle a few up <laughs> And it's definitely acid. <laughs> I didn't quite. I dabbed a bit of my finger, then give a very light dab on my tongue. Yeah, well, it's definitely acid. So we've taken the binnacle off, and this is what we find inside. It's what can only be described as a hodgepodge of cabling. Okay, so what we've done now is there was a huge loop of cable here held together with this sort of stuff, and we've unpicked it. And we're now testing things with Gainer's Evo, but we have some great little beauties of wiring like this yeah and this yeah that's that that that's his makeshift shielding very likely and then there is this which um we don't know where it runs to but um it's not doing anything well this is uh, after beverly's um work and 
I mean, so we haven't done anything, but boy, hasn't she made it look a lot neater. All this is uh, what Beverly has just removed <laughs> from the binnacle. Yes, we're talking interesting wiring. This is the back of our um, panel that Beverly is uh, removing. Um, most of it's um, in reasonable good shape but we're going to have to put this onto a new panel. Beverly's been um, wiring up our uh, binnacle um, and sorting all that out while I have been wiring in here. Now this absolute mess um, is what I call the lash up. Uh, so I've tested all the wires um, that I need to test and now I can actually start removing some of the length like I've got far too much uh, power cable from the instruments I've got far too much um, power cable from everything else but at least now I can start removing that and hopefully making a good job because quite frankly at the moment we're still ridiculous I skipped doing German at school, which is really kind of unfortunate at this point because the circuits we're interested in appear to be the Heizung and the Fogolienpumpe. Now I've just got to find out what that actually means. So down here you can see where we're installing the Ray Marine Hub. This is the terminating block. The P70 will go in here. The classic instruments, ST1, CTOC1 will go in there and the chart plotter will go in there and then that will go down to the hub down below decks. But um, Bev and I have just found a great space to be able to put the brains of the autopilot system in. Um, we're also going to be able to put the, uh, I know it's a flux compass, but me and Bev call it the flux capacitor. <laughs> uh, but um, we've got enough room for that as well. And, um, you know, it's just a case of um, putting it in this great space that we're going to use. So if you have the two cabin Bavaria variant, I'm in, lying down in the rear cabin at the minute and there's this foot well that comes down and the bottom panel comes off it. And it butts up against the transom, which is in here with the uh, rudder stock and the Eberspacker and other various bits and bobs. But this space here is quite enormous actually. Um, it's got the rudder cables, it's got various leads, some of which have got some rather flaky looking bits of electric which will be attended to later today. Um, but you can see the cable run up there, you can see it going past the, uh, the rudder wires and the rudder posts, but look at the space, I've got more than a hand's width, I cannot get my hand from the cable to there. So these can be mounted up here. The flux compass, flux capacitor, can be mounted here and will face forward. And all the network components and network wiring can be mounted here. And this is a beautifully dry space. And um, once this uh, baseboard is put back on, then this area is totally protected from people kicking it. So you don't have to worry. Um, yeah, so this is where we're going to put all the brains for our autopilot. And so a few hours later, this is what we have. So our new Bevengainer chart plotter is now installed. And we have all our instruments and things and uh, They all come up and all agree with each other.